Can you imagine that out of the eight most wanted criminals in Kenya, or on criminals that have earned the most wanted tag, three are named on and called Maderi. I know it's weird. Huh? In this video, we are going to see who these three Maderis were and what made them to earn the most wanted tag among the list of criminals. If you're new to the channel, please uh, subscribe, drop a comment if you like this such kind of content and uh, hit the like button because it can help push this content further to people like you who would be interested in such kind of content. Anyway, let's get straight to the video. Kenya has had, uh, you know, notorious criminals roaming the streets and terrorizing Kenyans. And in Kenya's young history, few of these criminals have earned the most wanted tag. Most people know or are unaware of John Kiriamiti because of his crime novels loosely based on his real life. At one point, he was one of the most wanted criminals, but uh, he survived to write his novels. That's uh, My Life in Crime and Son of Fate. And I believe there's another book. However, back in the 90s, there's a notorious gang that arose and uh, terrorized Kenyans. This gang was composed of three criminals or three, let's call them the criminals. And these three, three criminals you know their lives played out like movies and like each and every day they would be in the paper because of some crime they had committed they had murdered someone they had robbed a bank or they had tried to rob some shop or some supermarket and every day you know each and every day you would find them in the papers and that's how they earned the most wanted tag and these three were known by their aliases that's why shosho Rasta and Wanogo. And among them, they had the Rasta. He was believed to be the most hardcore of the three and actually survived the longest because they had terrorized Kenyans from 1993 and the Rasta was the last to be gunned down in 1995 after a near in hiding. You know, Rasta name was Bernard Maderi Thu. And he would be the first Maderi to earn the most wanted tag because years later other Maderis would join the band wagon and they would want to like take up what Maderi was was doing. And the three criminals were so ruthless that police offered a bounty on his head, you know, on Rasta's head. Back then the police were offering Kenyashin 100,000 to anyone who would provide information on the whereabouts of Rasta. But finally, he was caught and gunned down by the police. So, Rasta, Bernard Maderi Duo, is the first most wanted criminal to be named Maderi. So, after Rasta was gunned down in 1995, 10 years later, another hardcore criminal, you know, rose. And uh, he was so famous and so notorious that he earned the most wanted tag. And even the late President Kibaki, during his first tenure, referred to him as a Kamutu. Because he could not understand why the police could not just capture them, you know, the new, this criminal. And after he spoke, you know, police got in, down into business and they searched for... Simon Maderi, because Maderi was involved or he was linked to multiple killings, extortions, rape, and uh, violent, you know, robberies. And he was caught in Adi River, and Chichopevu have done, on other media stations, have done profiles or features on this, the second Maderi, who was Simon Maderi, Ikere, and he hailed from a place called Nashia. He was gunned down after protests from Kibaki and this was after hiding for a few months. The last Maderi was known as Geoffrey Maderi or he threw his alias Fungo and Geoffrey Maderi was a self-confessed vampire. He was a serial killer 
on he is a serial killer and among the three materis is the only one surviving and materi was caught by police after two women uh, akini and another woman escaped from a place he had captured them and he was sucking blood he would later confess that uh, after sucking the blood from these women after he had drugged them he would take them he would take the blood to the pastor and this pastor was also arrested but uh, when uh, materi was taken to the court the court could not find enough evidence you know to uh, to sentence him for the rape so he was sentenced to four years imprisonment for the rape so the three materi materis were Bernard Materi or Rasta, Simon Materi, Ikere, and he was known as Materi. And then we have Geoffrey Materi or Fungo. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe if you are new to the channel, drop a comment, and hit that like button.